Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a foundation and concealer review for you guys. I'm going to be reviewing the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation and Concealer. This is actually not a first impressions video. I have already recorded this video, but I picked up the wrong shade. Juvia's Place released complexion products on May 20th and a couple days before that I didn't even know that they were doing this release so I started seeing people talk about it and I got really excited so I didn't even know what shade to get so um, I just kind of looked at some of the people that had already had this stuff from like PR and stuff and I decided to get two shades and I'll tell you guys about that later. So with this line of complexion products they have 42 shades in the foundation and 24 um, shades in their concealer and the good thing about this is they they do their shade range goes from dark to light instead of light to dark like most uh, companies do with their complexion products kind of a mid-range price I feel like it's more on the affordable side the foundation is only $20 and then the concealers are $14 on May 20th is when they released the foundations on their website on June 2nd which was Sunday they released their complexion products at Ulta. Now at my Ulta they did not have the concealers but they had all the foundations there so um, I had to go back and get concealers online because the concealers that I bought were way too light and then um, the foundations that I bought on the website were too dark and a little bit too orange so I had to go to the store to get my right shade so I'm hoping it works I tested it out on my hand Adrian was with me he like he kind of um, helped me pick my shade as well so we had to play a, uh, we had to play around with a lot of shades so all right so here is what the product looks like here you get the standard one fluid ounce of product in here and it's in a squeeze tube it kind of reminds me of um, a primer or a lotion the way this is packaged and then on the back they just have like a this is where you would see like the name of the foundation just back here and this is what the concealers look like and you get a doe foot applicator with this what this foundation claims to do it is a radiant long-lasting creamy comfortable foundation um, it offers a smooth application with a soft natural and soft matte finish to give a flawless coverage um, a great comfortable formula to even out complexion refined skin and texture and erase blemishes maintaining the initial finish throughout the day suitable for all skin types including sensitive and oily skin as you guys can see I do not have perfect skin um, I have eczema under my nose, I have dark spots around my mouth, I have textured um, skin on my cheeks. So I am not really a light coverage kind of girl. I do like full coverage makeup. Um, unless I'm just kind of going to the store or something. I typically go for full coverage when I'm going out and stuff like that. And I have worn this foundation three or four times. I've worn the wrong shade, but I've worn this three or four times and I can go ahead and tell you guys crazy coverage like I didn't even have to color correct under my nose or under my eyes like I usually have to do with foundations um, it is long wearing a little goes a long way if you put too much on you're gonna feel like you have foundation on and if you get the wrong shade it's gonna be very apparent because it's such a full coverage foundation one of the shades which was Punta Cana that's the one that I was wearing and that's the shade that's the shade 435. I made it work, but it was way too like orange. Um, in natural lighting, I was just like, I look like a tangerine. So I had to go back and get my correct foundation. So I am going to, I'm going to swatch the foundation shades that I do have. I am in front of a window. So hopefully this gives you guys the true color. And just for shade references, foundations that work for me, 330 Toffee and Maybelline Fit Me, 360 and Fenty Beauty, um, Estee Lauder, I wear the Double Wear Foundation is the FW1, 
And any other foundations that I use, I'll put those down below as well for you guys. All right, so I'm gonna swatch these shades that I have. I only have three shades that I've bought, so. Here is Rio. This is 430 Rio. Here is 435 Punta Cana. And here is 450 Casablanca or Casablanca. Which actually looks light on my face okay so as far as the concealers I am going to swatch the concealers that I have so I told you I had to do two rounds of concealers because the ones that I got were too light so this is what I use for a contour shade this one is number eight and I'm going to use that as a contour shade so that's good for contour. I got 16 and I used it as an under eye concealer. This was the first round and it was too light. Way too light even for a concealer shade. That was way too light. And then I got 15. Way too light. Like I can use that as like a lid primer for, for shadows and stuff but way too light so if you're my complexion or darker stay away from 15 and 16 it's unless you have like a darker concealer underneath and then I got 14 with the second round this one's probably gonna work better oh yeah way better way better and then I also got 13 And that's 13. 13 looks like a really good concealer, under eye concealer shade. I look very tribal right now. So I'm probably gonna use um, 13 underneath my eye to conceal. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this face. I am not gonna do an eyeshadow look. I'm just gonna let the foundation be the center of attention. For a primer, I'm going to use the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Matte Primer. And so my, my brows don't get too oily, I'm going to use the Crayon Case Chalk Dust Setting Powder in the color C. For brows, I'm gonna use the Precisely My Brow pencil in color 3.75. brush which is the Moda dome shadow brush and I'm gonna blend out this concealer and I feel like I could use this concealer as an all-over foundation well it's a little bit light but this brush just does a good job of blending out conceal my concealer it's not too big. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe if I got shade 12, I could use that as an overall like foundation. Precisely my brow pencil. I did my brows so quickly. You have so much control with that pencil. Highly recommend getting that. All right, so I have my brows, my liner, and my lashes on, so we're gonna get into the foundation. So I'm gonna use Casablanca. It says to use this foundation, either use a, a brush or a beauty sponge, which is like any other foundation. Um, so I'm gonna apply mine with the e.l.f. foundation blurring, bl with the e.l.f. foundation blurring brush. Very dense brush. So it's gonna apply a lot of foundation and I'm not gonna color correct or anything. So I'm gonna put it on the darkest part of my face so you guys can really see. This Casablanca color has like a whole lot of orange in it though. Okay, you see that coverage? <laughs> this is some serious coverage. And this is a really nice brush. I've been using this a lot lately, mainly with this foundation. So you guys see it covered that eczema patch that I have under my nose right up. And this Casablanca color is not that bad. It's a tad bit orange though. I think once I blended it out, it doesn't look as bad as I was thinking it did. So I'm going to use 13 underneath my eye. I'm gonna put a little bit of 16 just for a brightener. I'm gonna put eight as my contour.
guys so I'm back and I have finished my face and I'm just gonna get into how I feel about the entire collection I feel like the price point is great it's a little bit higher than drugstore but $20 isn't that bad I think the concealer is a good price as well it's definitely full coverage foundation so if you have like if you're a full coverage kind of girl this is a foundation for you and they have such a good shade range um, for women of color even though they do have like you know a shade for pretty much everybody they really did go in on those um, darker shades so kudos to Juvia's place for having a really good shade range so initially when I was watching these on my face I was getting kind of scared because I was like I think that the 450 Casablanca was a little bit too light but it actually worked out I feel like it probably oxidized a little bit because it it works with my complexion um, if you are NC 45 you know 360 and Fenty Beauty um, and the other shades that I have in the description box I feel like Casablanca is gonna be a good shade for you it looks good in natural lighting on camera it looks good it looks really good um, as you guys can see I did have um, dark I had darkness under my nose because I have eczema there and I usually have to use an orange corrector to balance it out before I put on my foundation but I didn't have to do that with this foundation because it has such good coverage I love the way I love the blendability of both the foundation and the concealer the concealer is really really nice I layered my concealer I did 13 and 16 um, the 13 is very close to my complexion and I feel like I could get away with just using that as foundation and I might do that in the future especially if I don't want to have to do a full face I feel like this is a foundation for somebody who wants to be beat so if you want like a you know a foundation to just go to the store real quick I probably wouldn't go with this foundation I feel like this is for somebody that wants to look all the way made up like this is a great foundation for brides I have worn this foundation three or four times already before I'm even filming this video and I didn't see that it was too that it started to oil up really fast it's been like 80 and 90 degrees here in South Carolina lately so I kept the foundation all day on all day it didn't look too oily it did look super orange not this shade but the Punta Cana was way too orange for me um, and it showed up I was like oh my god when I went in sunlight it was just too too orange and I wouldn't put on too much because you're gonna look cakey so take it easy with the amount of foundation that you use see why everybody is going crazy over this this is some really good foundation um, uh, just do a little bit of research as far as like what shade to get because having to order twice and you know have to wait to go to Ulta to get mine and everything like that that was frustrating but um, as the hype dies down more people are gonna be more people will have uh, reviews and stuff so you guys don't have to do like I did and um, have to do two rounds of ordering and then go to the store to find my foundation shade Unfortunately, unfortunately for me we didn't have our concealers at our Ulta but some Ulta's might have that um, in bigger cities and stuff uh, I do love this foundation and I feel like I finally got my right shade um, oh and I really like this lip color I've never bought a lip color from from Juvia's place it's a liquid lipstick and it's in the shade soil and it's a matte lip this reminds me of mama from ColourPop beautiful um, orange shade so beautiful I love this and if you guys are interested in my hair all that information will be in the description box this is sensationals Amani and I just on a whim decided to cut her and I think it's way more wearable this way I didn't film it I just did it on a whim if you are interested in purchasing the Juvia's Place foundation or concealer I'll leave a link where you can purchase it down below thank you guys so much for supporting my channel let me know down below if you want to see more you know makeup reviews or specific makeup reviews uh, let me know about those down below thank you guys so much for watching if you have not subscribed yet go ahead and subscribe turn on your notifications so you'll be notified every time that I do another upload I will see you guys in the next video bye guys